This is going to be awesome. I cannot wait. We're into the grand finals, Golden Boy. Let's get it. That's right. Best of three for the grand finals, starting off with uh, map one in Haven. Game two will go to split. And if necessary, game three will conclude in bind. Team Shroud versus Team Tim the Tapman. The grand finals. The moment we've all been waiting for. Three matches to determine who walks away as the 100 Thieves Invitational Champion. You got some real tanks on both sides of the field. And let's see. Also, composition now. We got the Cypher, Jet, Sage, Rays, and the, the uh, Brimstone for the defending side. For the attackers, they're switching it up to an Omen. So I think they are abandoning it. I want to say it was Phoenix that they had. So they're abandoning mm -hmm. the Phoenix and going for the Omen. And Brax is actually going to be playing the Omen. And they swapped him off of the Cypher. They're definitely switching things around for this game. So it doesn't seem like the comfort of one of the agents affects them too much. They seem to be able to go back and forth between a few. Oh, really? Nice by Ska. They break the wall down so they can get a kill through it. B looks like it could be before. the take. And like I said, it's going to be about the opening aims here. Before we saw any smokes go down, they were fighting instantly, Golden Boy. It's going to be all about that opening shot for these teams. Just cleared right through B. These squads have encountered each other before. Tim the Tatman will be frozen off from the outside. Great angle there on the wall, too. It's going to create a real awkward approach for him. But it, it will not be awkward for Gary the Boombot. Who will go through and does end up getting a kill on Hiko. That has to be frustrating. But Flam was the last person left alive there. Brax with three gets the cleanup. And that is the first round to Team Shroud. It's tough to be as fearless as Gary on that entry. Going in though. They tried. But yeah, you're right. Shroud coming up with his team and that first kill. We're on eyes of Brax right now. He has full, well, you full utility actually. Could use one more shadow step. But it looks like he's going to hold it. Feels like he could only do that one time in a round. And Tim with the shorty? That's a that's significant, is he? Ooh. Him with the Him shorty. With the shorty. I like it. The wallflower. <laughs> I All right. The shorty is a love it or hate it gun, man. Because you, you love it because people don't expect it on pistol rounds. They don't expect it in the early rounds. And Poach also going to be using a shorty, too. So a so he, double shorty play. These are... Oh, my God. A trip. Oh, they are shortying. Wait a minute. Everybody... Okay, there's a, there's a sheriff. Three shorties though, and those are really open angles. Especially even the one that we saw uh, Sage holding. And I even forgot who was over there. Tim, because there's just a little bit of room for them to be able to spread. If you look down, if they don't walk right up to you, it's tough. Oh! There's a lot, but Poach is able to find it with the side check. And we're going to get big kills coming in from the defenders here. Looks like the, the, the attackers are going to have to rush out window to make some ground up. You never expect a shorty in the garage. You should, but you don't. And that is unfortunate there as they just walk away without their jaws. Now, <laughs> Cyber Cage out. They will have to back up. Tim playing by the a site Coach traded out that shorty for the Spectre. A few shots actually going through there. Ace watching the angle. Ooh. Love that crosshair. Good crosshair, Ace. It looks like they're going to rotate back, grabbing up some traps. They do want to move from this location. And a slight push here from Brim. So they're going to... Scott, I think, is going to be trying to move up if that's him. That's Poach, actually. Scott's on the other team. And they have 10 seconds. They're into the site. Here's go. Oh, he doesn't throw it up! Tim throws it down. Doesn't make it rain. Yeah. Let's see how they retake the site on this. Yeah, if he threw it up, he could have gotten the uh, splash damage from Absolutely. the concussion, or I should say, uh, from the, the the combustible part of the grenade, right? As it all just kind of flies around, the fragments of it all. Now, though, here comes Poach, who lit up the round by removing two players here, but they got two people double peeking on that doorway, denying that <laughs> end of the run. Tim backed away. But unfortunately, was not enough uh, he, as they fall there. That is going to be a 2-0 lead for Team Shroud. Yeah, when you're getting shorties uh, looking for an eco round, you're really hoping that you don't have to move. Uh, yeah. Sight retakes, very, very unlikely as you have to shoot somebody at range. So, what you know, once you really have to move out of that position, the round is pretty much over. You get what guns you can. So, tough round, but fun. I love what they were going for. It, it's either a win or a lose. 
Unless you're gonna like sheriff down mid and all walk and be serious about the eco, I I'd say that's a that's a good one to go for. Mm -hmm. All right, well now we got a little mid push action over here. Brax headshot on Tim the Tap Man over on the A side as he challenged on a long. Paid for that one with his life. Cameras are gonna be out in effect though. Stop trying to see. Let's hope out gets mangles, perhaps. There comes Scott. Smokes down. Molotov in the back right corner. Typical spot for people like to hold, but no one's actually going to be inside of the B site. So they push into this one freely. Place the spike down. Now they're just going to get on out of there. Not worry about that. Brax kills Mendo, and in turn, Flom is there to respond. Scott and his teammate have back backed out, but Poach stuck on the outside. No one can get on top of that besides the Sage and... The wall was already used. Flom around the I, corner, and then that's it. I mean, just basically I, have to poach. I love it. This is super effective. You go in, you garrison one side of B, and make sure everybody's on that side. That's the getting in and then getting out together. The other team comes in. You play retake as they get into the site, and they have to defend. It's, it's such a good swap of roles, and it usually takes the other team off guard. Here at the end of C, they're going to be hunting them down. And there it is. Gets one. Gets one. Yeah, but get they're something be for kills. it. All right, 3-0. The start here always is going to be rough when you lose the pistol round. The economy will just get out of control. I think, yeah. what is it, four rounds until you get the bonus? Right? So they should be getting the bonus in this round. Should show up. We'll see uh, on the bottom right next round. But yeah, they are three in. So they're at max. I think max might be two. Could be three. That's when I slipped my mind. Here we are starting. Oh, they break the wall. At least get it too broken. This spam goes over into B. As I said before, that's that's a good one for mid from both sides where you can bring up your mini map right before the round starts and ping where the defender or where the attacker might be standing. And you just rip a hole right where that ping is as the round starts. So they jumped him over to C site. But Team Shroud has gained full control of A. They don't have uh, the Heaven, but they know that if any... Oh, well, actually, if anyone was going to poke Heaven, they would go for it now. And act the teleport up from Brax. I did not pay attention to that. Brax went all the way up to with the teleport in Heaven and then caught Tim as soon as he was trying to throw that grenade right over the wall. All the way in spawn, too. And they're, they're... Wow. They know they're in the lead. Look at this. They've cleared every angle, and the confidence oozing out of this team is disgusting. Chasing down the pistols. They know nothing's wrong. Okay, one goes back. I was going to say, you got to send somebody back to the bomb. This is a little a little outrageous. So they do have some safety on this round, so uh, let them play. Yeah, unless you did like a full sweep, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, you sent everyone in every possible angle that you can look for, but even then, that's going to be not that easy. Wow. Okay, that's con this. Th that's a little bit of uh, demoralizing your opponent as well. You want to just chase them down. They may even have a classic. You don't want them to get it. I in a sense, maybe you do want them to get the classic because you're giving them an alt point when they die. Yeah. So big brain, like uh, think I, I don't know. Unless you're really afraid of that, then uh, it's something to think about. Yeah, I believe it was you and I was playing with, and and you just said like, just go die, just go die, and I was like, wait, why, why, why would I do that? And then uh, what? Yeah, the value. Yeah, Sometimes but, but there's value. You get the ult. Yeah, you get the ult. Especially if you're on one point away. Here we are. Brax shifting forward. Now, he didn't really trick anybody with the shift forward. What his long-term goal is, is that he is closer than they would think he is right away and almost gets the opening shot on somebody. Tim. But it was a shoulder peak coming in and nothing could connect there. See what he how he worked for this. Yeah, Tim's still hanging out over on A site, having to deal with the Omen and the Sage. Bombs working over in time, trying to stop them as they uh, push through uh, has been rather challenging for Team Tim. And Shroud Squad has willingly walked into A site about three yeah. times now and have managed to plant it. So we got a full 5v5 defensive hellfire. opportunity and offensive uh, retake potential here. Orbital Strike is deployed. 
Daisy K right through the smoke, Ooh. and he manages to get it through the dark cover. That's ACU. Tim is picked off down oh, low. He does it again. He <laughs> look at it. He just wants it. He's thirsty. He needs a drink of water. Flailing his gun. True praying while he's praying. I like it. And just the pre-fire counts. It, there's always a chance, you know? There's a chance that they see your tracers and fire back, but always be down to fire a few bullets. We actually saw as they were, Ska was in the site there for a moment, I believe it was. Um, oh no, that was Brax, I'm sorry. He just kind of popped a few shots, even while the wall was up at that uh, that defender spawn area. Pre-firing, a few shots here and there. You, there's a chance you get ahead, right? You never yeah. know if you don't try. Put that in your gameplay. Good, especially when you have a site and you're not trying to stay quiet. It's good. It's good to implement. I like the way that Shroud and and I've seen a lot of players too do this, and I I probably will do this moving forward. Mm -hmm. There's the preemptive smoke uh, a spray, right? Like you see the you see the smoke down, just go for the shot. Like screw absolutely. It. What's the worst that happens? You miss. You right. hit nothing, you, miss, you hit a wall. You, you've slightly given up your position, but they expect you to be at that part of the map in the beginning anyways. I mean, we've seen no rushes here, right? I said this was going to be all about getting shots down. We have not seen them rush one site yet. So, the, both of these teams are trying to use aim to their advantage. Smart play from Mendo, who got on top of his ice block. They blocked a site. And holding this down, the the omen inside of the spawn. Oh, he's, he's going to TP to a site. If he's not found yet, maybe? Uh, I, don't, oh. I don't know. He doesn't have TP yet. You're right. Yeah, he doesn't have TP. But Hiko's got the aim. And that is going to send Mendo packing 3v3. Bomb has been picked up. A site is exposed. Decipher. Watching diligently on C. Pulled his camera back. I'm assuming recognizing that there might be a push on a but he's peeking anyway and then there goes that c flank or, or wrap around i should say so he pulled the camera out it doesn't matter because he did what an interesting round you're five zero from the attackers they should be able to get this bomb down easily but for the defending team to fin tim's team to push that hard and just want the kills and the uh, attackers to not be anywhere for it, playing great defense is very, very interesting to me. You feel like the attackers would still continue to play with their confidence, get in the face of the defenders, but turning the tables there, Tim, coming in strong. Another oh. shot just to the shoulder of Ska as he hits true with the Phantom. Six to zero here. We said it, it would might be a wash coming in once one of these teams gets a hold, but a common place for Haven to change is at round six and for it to be very close to six to six. So if it happens here, it might start to swing. But what would it take though? They they've been the way that Shroud's team has been playing, it, it's okay, push A, we get the pick. Tim pushes out. Why do you think that they have invested three bodies on A side? Because they have been obliterated on a yeah. time. They want to push again. it. They want to push again. Yeah, they want to get aggro in their face. And Tim is just pushing forward. Brax's shift. Brax, he has no idea. Tim has no idea. He's going to get caught with his pants down. There he goes. Shot right to the right side of the head. And now the push is going to be uh, going to happen here on A side. The Jet and the Sage have rotated around. ACU is going to get on top of the boxes here. Maybe can nail a shot, but the dark cover is going to impede his vision. And just understanding of the movement from Ace and jet and another dark cover that's two players that are just being distracted on a from just one guy meanwhile they're working on the b side and simple precedent was set for brax to be able to make that play happen again brax has actually gone there a few times right but they all pushed last round so he says okay i'm gonna actually do that again then i'm gonna wait for somebody getting a little overzealous as he moves into spawn did get himself a kill this round as we sit at 4v3. 40 seconds left on this round. Multiple smokes coming out. Shroud oh, no. cooking up just a little bit as he gets out of the barbecue that is garage currently. Orbital strike is up for Sky here. If the team gets bound down, they have an easy protect to keep the three out. Stay that two as they start to get the bomb down. Gonna have to work on this. Head shot from Shroud. 20 seconds. Get that down. Get that down. Scott gets it down. He's going to use it. And he actually pops oh. his ult on top. He pops his ult to the side uh, as they were going to push out and try and challenge from the back alley. And that was smart. But at that point when everything was going on, Tim was able to flank around 
and just get into that garage. That is going to be the first round win for Team Tim the Tap Man. You mentioned it before, man. Around Let's this go. round six is where you start to see the swing. Perhaps Tim's team can come back into this and draw it or get a 7-5 ending into the half. That would be great for them uh, because the way things were starting in the beginning was, that was just rough. So let's talk about why. A lot of these mark, uh, a lot of these alt points are on six. So coming into the seventh round, if you have died six times, you're going to be firing off your alt. Plus, if you got a kill, you're even closer. So it's a big change in the game. And a lot of people don't expect that seventh round to be something that the opposing team can capitalize. Even if you felt like you've been demoralizing them all game long, you need to expect the next advantage that they have coming mm -hmm. into that seventh round. And it slips the mind of a lot. And even with uh, the the way that you'd be playing, right? Just like continuing to destroy them round after round. All it takes is a raised rocket to catch some overconfident players in garage off guard. And then you got yourself a potential like two kill swing, you know? Yep. It, it's just, it, it's the uh, that, that minute to minute thinking, or uh, dare I say, not even dare I say, factually say second to second thinking <laughs> that a game like yep. Valorant requires yep. you to have it's 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 insane it's awesome i hear you it is it's uh, making the executive decision to you know push through stay back and that could be yours or your teammates you know like that round which is every round is necessary at this point dark vision coming through we'll yeah, see what they can get through this you want to blast the wall down oh they try to jump through so a lot of people getting out of the side i like to w keys for this one golden boy but 30 seconds left is tight Time-wise, you're going to be dealing with not a lot to, of space to work with. Flom is going to get walled off here. He's looking for the angle. Ace just going for the shots through the textures. Looking for penetration with that op. And I think that they're just going to have to abandon ship on this one. They're yeah. going all the way over to the A site. At 3v5, and you didn't get a single pick when they were taking over C site. Yeah, that's that's tough. You're just going to have to save your weapons. So this shows you the a little bit of the strength that the attackers will have on this map. You have three sites with B being in the middle. And a lot of times, a uh, nice shot by Flam, people covering B. People will choose to not cover B and always play retake on it, maybe put a wall on it, some type of intel to go back, which will heighten your chances of being able to hold C, Garage, and uh, the site of A with the B rotator. So it's it's different for everybody how they set it up. If you're playing a Cypher, it helps to do that kind of setup, especially if you don't want somebody in Garage right away, and Garage mm -hmm. can play B. But they, you're seeing how effective a team that can get into the site and is confident is. We didn't see much rushing in the beginning, but like I said, now full utility. We're getting a bit more rushing from the confident team and the winning team. Quick question on something that I have not thought about. and I What's that? Can you buy a half? If you're at 25 armor, can you buy a half armor to just get it up to a 50? Or do you have to buy a 50? No. To get it? No, you have to buy full to go full. Got it. Okay. 25 will bring you to 25. Yeah. And that's actually a good question because you think about when should you rebuy full armor? And I, it's really the answer is if you have 141, you don't need to. If you have 140, you're going to take a shot from a phantom and die. So it might help to buy it. A vandal's gonna take you out anyways, but just to save a grand for nine armor it is worth. This is uh, gonna be the the Rivington Valorant info uh, infomercial. You know, just give us all the intel. <laughs> I mean, there's more to go through for the pistol than eco rounds with what marshals do, but uh, for another time. Poach opens up on Hiko <laughs> two for the attackers right now, and a lot of time to work on this one is. Gary's going on an adventure. Yeah, Gary's down gone. Sewers. Gary's <laughs> gone. If Tim wanted to shoot a rocket down there right now, he would get himself a double. And I don't know if he he, he knows that they're pushing. He just doesn't know how many are going to be there. Here comes the rocket. He's going to shoot it out, and he's not going to get anything with it. But Ace, a shot on top of Brax. Tim, brilliantly done. And he banks that nade on top. That actually could do some damage if... That player's not mindful of it. Orbital strike deployed. Anyone in the crossfire? No, they are not. Oh, Meanwhile, no. Flom oh, 
No, 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 no. They're teammates. They're teammates. Oh my god! It's okay. I thought, oh, dude, I was just out of it for a second. It's there. fine. Thank, it's fine. Thank we... the Lord. I thought a potato appeared in Flom's hand, and he was spudding out, bro. <laughs> we thought we've been casting for quite a while, and we've been streaming super late every day. So don't worry about it. I would have made the same mistake too. And that will be a, another round win. Uh, round number nine going for Tim the Tatman and his squad. Dude, Dude, we've been we've been on the grind, man. We have one hundred percent been on the those grind. Sometimes those potatoes they just come out of nowhere. You know what you, I'm you've talking been, about? You've uh, been you've been casting LCS like or doing your games. I've been casting a bunch of <laughs> tournaments and we've been oh, streaming. Like I we've worry. been on the grind, bro. Oh, it's good. It's good. We're in there because every shot perfectly missed him too. So yeah. I was just like, what in the world? Have uh, we reached that point? <laughs> And uh, someone asked in the chat, by the way, uh, uh, Rockstar OG said, "Why? wait, why are people spamming cash tags? That's because Cash App is giving out some cash in the chat. So if you guys spam your cash tags and share it, uh, oh, maybe you can get yeah. some money. Make sure you share it with at Cash App on Twitter. And uh, let them know. Thank you. Where's, where's the money? Yeah, that. thank them. Dude, that was like almost a burst out of AZK. Those so shots. A okay, this is why I say I love playing against them because you learn all the time. Like just getting shot by him, and you you feel you're like I just got shot four times, oh, no. but not in a hold succession. Like he clicked four times that fast, something oh, like that, out. and you're like this is possible. Now I can try to achieve this. You just like you're always learning little things. Valorant and games like Valorant, the the gameplay loop, right? Because whenever you talk about. Uh, you know, just games coming into the marketplace, right? Uh, appealing to a, a demographic, uh, depending mm -hmm. on whoever, whoever that may be. There's always a conversation of what is the gameplay loop, right? Uh, for right. for example, in a battle royale, the gameplay loop is you you loot, you die, you requeue, you loot, you you know, like the 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 micro wins are the gameplay loop in a battle royale game. And then if you end up winning, it's like the thrill of the hunt. You know, you're like, oh man, this is so sick. I just want to keep playing this. But a game like a game like Valorant and why I, I love it so much is that the loop is simply in getting better. And this is something that is, to be frank, very intangible. It's intangible because there's no like, I got a kill. I got something tangible, uh, you know, an elimination, a kill, whatever it may be. Uh, awesome. I'm going to get back into it. No, this is yeah. like where my crosshair is placed or how I'm thinking about approaching the bomb site or the way that I'm gonna be using my utility on site to lock it down or or to slow rotations. These are these are not right. things that are like quantifiable per, you know necessarily. And that is the reason why I just love yeah. games like Valorant because it's you'll learn things as you go along. And it's hard it's hard to find you're right. I like to equate it to learning an instrument. Uh, you you do it for so many hours at a time and you might be messing up that one thing but it's when you go away and you're not thinking about it and you come back to it yeah. that your next time you're like wait i hit that flick shot i couldn't a week ago and it it, it progresses slowly it's not yeah. like a, i've been training this all day i should be able to go in game right now and do it that's not at all how it works yeah it, it, no, it exactly. comes slow yeah Exactly. Because I, I say uh, jokingly, oh, I just got to go into the aim trainers before I play. And I, yeah, I can totally go into the aim trainers. And, and but that helps. That helps. It does. It, you know, it gives you, you know, a little warm up, right? It, it's perfectly fine just to get the, the right arm moving and flicking around with your mouse. But the, <laughs> there's nothing like getting that real experience. And then when you play against players of caliber that we're watching right here, oh boy, you're going to learn today. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of good to be able to pull away from this one. Speaking of good, Brax has been great throughout the entirety of this competition. He teleports forward, and Brax, fortunately for him though, will walk away without his hood. And this is what you're looking at—a little uh, visual uh, glitch in the spectator. Client. Not at all. He's about to throw his vandal, dude, and hopefully hit the agent in the head. Throw the vandal, fam. I'm just kidding. He, he retracted. He retracted. He was going to bunt, and then he didn't. He was going to bunt. <laughs> <laughs> that is the Valorant equivalent of a bunt. I like it. That's, yes, it is. Tim coming up big with that final shot there. And uh, by back to buy time, you can run. You can roll. You can do whatever you want in buy time. If you have the ability to jump, you can do so as well to get up on a box. Or you can set up all your cool traps, like uh, Cypher is doing here. The Flama Flom. This goes here. Op for Flom. That goes there. 
See, and these are good. I actually, this trap for Flum. Oh, this that yeah. trap can be placed between the double box in garage and the wall. Down. That way it's destroyed much sooner and you don't have to worry about somebody already being in your garage hallway looking at you and see, which can be a very peculiar uh, angle for someone to have on you. This is going to be the last round and a half. We'll switch over to uh, the other side. Defenders will get an opportunity to attack by first a eco though. A headshot gets to Mendo oh, trying oh, to transfer, transfer it over. I mean he could have gotten it, but there were two players there looking right at him. And now it's a 2v3. Defense needs to hold this one up. Team Tim the Tapman have been struggling. Scott's gonna be on point now. You got roll that thunder. Oh yeah. he blasted him through his own halt. Hate to see it. Nice. It's like saying thanks, teammate. We're good, we're good. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Yep, he doesn't matter. He's like, you know what? I'm clear in the head now, and I'm going to go ahead and get two more. Beautiful job. Hiko actually picking up a triple transfer on that first one as he comes up to clean up. That was cute. They lost six rounds straight before the first round came in for Team Tim the Tap Man, and they were able yeah. to plug away at some victories, but getting some, some round wins, they've been pulling up the, scrap, the scraps, if you will. It, it's... Uh, we, we mentioned it before in the in the last game, right, about the uphill battle. And that's exactly what this is. It's it's going to be hard. But this pistol round, though, could actually be big for them. If if Team Tim the Tapman are able to get this pistol round, maybe this works out for them. Maybe they bring this one back. It could, it could be really big. Let's see how fast they're going on it. So where would they go? They're actually going to set up just that line of scrimmage all the way across. See if they can get a few picks here. Cypher setting up traps probably on the other side. Make it rain on C. Tim I gets love this pretty C good push height. when so you're able over, to the You want to throw those over the roof to your exactly. right. Over a little higher. Yeah, good call. The See how they come in. block this off. Tim had to pull out the, uh, the, the needle before he can actually <laughs> plant out the bomb. Spike is planted. Shroud just going for the shots up above. Got your favorite thing too, the little, little buddy. No. <laughs> Attached to his kind of <laughs> just the way they dismantled them. This is a I'd completely a different buddy, team. I'd put a gun buddy on my knife. That's the only place I'd put a gun buddy. What? I, you know, I'm okay with that. I, put, can you put a gun buddy on knives? I don't think you can. No. I <laughs> hope so after this conversation though. It should be literally on the <laughs> knife though. It has to be on the knife. It can't be uh can't be like it's on got, the just hilt. on the butt. Just right no, on the no, hill. No, on the no, no, no. It needs to be on the knife. Bro, you need, hold it there. The tip. I need, I need to have it just on right the tip. on the tip. <laughs> right on the tip of the knife. That's what I need the gun buddy to be. Yo, I'm just waiting for a switchblade that comes out with a gun buddy hanging off the end. <laughs> Dude, that would be sick. Little physics for the gun buddy too. What? Some physics for the gun buddy. You know, there like are physics. Play. No, but like on the knife. I mean, there's there, yeah, there's, a, there's like a little a hook on the top, so they they swing. But yeah, they dangle. Yes, it needs. You want more? That's fine. This whole this whole stream <laughs> has just been about Riv's disdain for gun buddies on his gun, not necessarily gun buddies. <laughs> not necessarily gun buddies. Like just thirty him. seconds. This whole stream has been about it. Right. Yeah, so minute one. Minute it's a one. Whole, it's a highlight of it. <laughs> they did get that round. Let's see if they can get number two here. There are a lot of sheriffs for Asu and the rest of the team I'm waiting for that pull. Coming around from the flank. Oh, later, Brax. Can you get the second shot? No. Shroud with the ghost is going to have their back. So now they got to worry a little bit more about long. Stim out. That stim is so good. And you're going to get it for a little while. So when he comes around the corner, he's stimmed. He has those arrows on the side of the, the, side of the screen, like pointing up. That means that he's in stim mode. His gun fires faster than AZK, dude. Oh, my word, AZK. Literally, his team was fighting that guy, and he's like, no, 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 hang on. Give me a second. Just, I got okay, you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I got you. I am you. not yeah. just your healer. I will take Ooh. a 3K. Thank you very much. It's nuts. That is Coming nuts. up big. You're always learning when you're playing against him. Say it over and over. Broken record. So 11 to 3. They shut down uh, another round for the defending squad. And let's see if they can keep it on the attack. We're going to have some big guns coming in here. Phantom in the hands of Flom as we see him pick up La Bomba. And he is on his way to sight. This is 
been a, I would say, just a clinical game in Team Shroud. Yeah. The way that they broke them down six rounds in a row. Really set the tone, the pacing for this for this matchup on on uh, Haven. We're gonna go to Bind for game two, and if necessary. Oh, Bind two. Oh, sorry, sorry. Split, split for split game two. two. Split, yeah, yeah. Split for two. Then Not to correct. I thought we. I thought we actually changed. No, no, no. You're <laughs> yeah, right. I know you were excited though for the potential split. Uh, you know, tiebreaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. So one down. They're taking a little bit, a little bit slower. You can see that Flom and Squad and Tim were trying to figure out how they could get in fast on the eco rounds. And now that they're facing guns, a little bit more timid, but one still getting traded down. We'll see how they work. Brax is they're just waiting for pushes right now to see if they can catch them off guard. Yeah, they have no reason to to invest, right? They they just hang back. They have to make the play. You got mm -hmm. thirty five seconds. Omen's going to be pushed out a little bit further, too. Uh, that's by, I want to say, mid. Yeah, that's going to be mid-window. Either way, though, Ace is going to be able to rectify that one. Give them uh, give them a player lead here. It will be 2v4. Here comes Hiko, though. He drops that, I think, the rolling thunder. Brax with two oh, on the word. side. Brax again. Looks like a flash getting ready. Oh, they're doubling. Look at the strat they're putting together. He's going to throw it out. His dark shadow just landed. Flash is going to come from one side. He might shift into one of these close to the jet. Oh, no. Hiko died. Hiko died as he was prepping the flash. And then Brax yeah. gets caught in the corner, and that plan fell apart. So that was the concussion, not the rolling thunder, but the concussion that actually had to send back Hiko. And they knew that he was going to be there because I think you can hear the charge of the uh, ability. I think you can. Because you can hear it when like uh, Well, you someone... can, it, it, the, the charge is, is the ground kind of uh, rupturing. No, but when he takes out, not no, for the flash, when he takes out his uh, arm piece, you hear the mechanic switch, I believe, right? I'm not sure. I actually gotta go into- I haven't been close thing. to a breach long enough. Dude, you see that? Oh, dude, this camera. What a smelly camera from dude, Flom. What a rat. What a Woo! rat cam. Oh my word. I just, I need to take a shower after this. That is, yeah, he'll pull wow. that one back, but. The tree cam. The tree cam. If Mendo can get a kill on this player here in the side, it's going to be the wall off. Nice block on the right off. Side. Mendo knows how to work the, the wall of Sage very, very well. They can get this bomb down. They've cleared the entirety of the site. And now they just have to focus on holding it down. And how to, how the hell do they do that? It's going to rely on Ace. If he does not get caught on the side here, it's going to get killed any second. Alex, my, my brain literally just got bigger. Oh, my goodness. That that wall is so good. I, yeah. I Honestly, I, I run into the site and place it to the right, blocking garage. Yes. But to just block off that back site, oh, my hell. God, your angles are cut well, so much. Think about what they did. They When they ran out from C... They pop smoke and oh, Mendo the threw the smoke. Mendo threw the smoke with a headshot. Scott has to be so frustrated about that. Brax, oh, though, on the opposite side. Everywhere. I mean, these are just insane shots. And Mendo is on something here. Oh, so they're going to run right into Shroud in a second, but it won't matter unless they can get the kill. And Shroud secures it, but Mendo can hold on to his weapon. So anyway, what I was saying was, as he goes onto the site, right, you deny the, the coverage in Garage by smoking in the tunnel. Because, mm -hmm. like you had mentioned before, if you smoke outside, you give that player the opportunity to poke out on the right side. Like, there's a lot of things yep. that can go wrong. Right. So exactly. you, you smoke out the tunnel, thus not allowing them to get, like, vision or, or, or movement when they come out of the tunnel right where Shroud is. Then you place that ice wall on the side. You're essentially forcing everybody to go over to the right behind the bomb site. Exactly. You're playing around you, that whole area. You off corner at dumpster so easily that person has to face maybe three. Yeah. Really well executed. Again, in the lead, feeling like they can start to rush as we saw the opening parts of these rounds off of pure aim. Not much utility and a lot of strength here coming from Tim, the tap man's team. They were able to take down Shroud and crew earlier. We have to remember that. Remember they had their number on the previous map when they played them, very surprised, but not anymore. They're showing us why. They're showing us the coordination that this team, this team is able to work with.
Yeah, they, they certainly are. Oh, the timing. Two, maybe, no, I was going to say maybe three. I, I, I'm actually going to say he should have had that. Uh, <laughs> we didn't pull it down enough. But yeah, that, that was actually, he started firing a good second, maybe a second uh, half thinking. before his opponent. So those are, those, are sh those are for sure kills. Unfortunate. But still, you can't be mad with two. 2v3, the favor goes for the defenders. As it's uh, Ace and Tim now have to work around the seaside. Cypher camera, by the way. Oh, yeah. Cypher cam is there. All he's got to do is just look at it. And gets the, it, it, that Get is going to be way. enough intel for them to know that this is where these two players are going to go. The camera was there for a brief moment. It activated. Oh, hey. They saw it. They know where they are now. Here comes the push. The bomb is down. Oh, oh no, dude. No health. That is You can't wild. jump over that. <laughs> he placed the orbital strike right at the center box and stomped on them and stopped the push, stopped the plant, ended everything. We're now at match point for game number one. You'll always try. I always try to jump over that crap. I Oh, and it doesn't help. I try to time it. I try to do everything. I'm like, maybe there's a frame that they didn't find when they were making this meticulously and not making many mistakes. I hope I can find that frame. It's not true. It's not you there. just got to get out of the way. It's not, it's not there. It... <laughs> oh, man. The orbital strike, dude. Thing is devastating. Look at the stack. Oh, he did. Hello. Okay, so he got a kill yeah. for that one. Tim is gonna be the victim of that. Mendo though does bring back Tim. Fire in the hole. Whereas I don't think. Yeah, they do not have the res for AZK. Nice so, little wall move. Yeah, yeah, and he will be playing in in sewer. Tim did not see him there. At least I don't think so. And AZK drops down from the wall, kind of pinning himself. Oh. Uh. Not quite sure what just happened. Yeah, he goes a god. He goes around the corner. Oh, you know, there he is. A lot I of noise. Yeah, they're yeah. making a lot of noise. So roll that thunder. Roll the thunder. Push forward. Hold W. Get a kill. Oh. They got to be stunned. But Tim. Oh man, and that is the game, folks. GG on Haven. Thirteen five. Team Shroud take the win. A dominating, dominating game. They did not let go once they had hold in. Uh, it, it really transitioned into them not fearing what the other team